Oh, so today I am here with a book review of We Own the Sky by Sarah Crawford. I was sent this book for free by the author in exchange for an honest review, so that's what I'm gonna do. So I did enjoy this book. I thought it was pretty good, but I did have some issues with it, so I'm giving it three out of five stars. We Own the Sky is about a girl named Sylvia who lives in a world where muses are a thing, which are these immortal beings that inspire artists to do their art. Except people don't know that muses are a thing. It's like, you know, this magical thing that people don't know about. <laughs> muses can make their artists see them if they want to, but most of the time the artists have no idea that there are these magical immortal beings making them do their artwork. Except that Sylvia, all of her life, has been able to see muses, but up until the beginning of the story, hadn't known that that's what they were. They were just these weird flickering people who hung around and didn't say anything to her, and she was like, weird. <laughs> but Sylvia ends up getting a muse of her own, and, you know, they fall in love and stuff. But there's also some sinister stuff going on in the world of the muses that could be putting Sylvia and her muse, Vincent, in danger. So. I thought the story was definitely interesting, and I thought it was intriguing when there was like the dangerous stuff happening um, in the Muse world and stuff. The last chunk of the story, like the last like 50 pages or something, were like really exciting and I was like, oh my god, what's happening? I did enjoy some of the characters. For most the most part, I really liked Travis. He just felt like a really real character to me. Just his reactions to things and the things that he said, the way he went about conversations and stuff, he just felt like a really, really real person to me. So I really liked Travis. My, I guess my issues with the story were that there was a lot of telling instead of showing, um, which I feel like sometimes made the writing seem kind of choppy. I feel like the relationship between Sylvia and Vincent seemed sort of rushed. I feel like there wasn't a lot of detail surrounding the actual relationship between Vincent and Sylvia. It basically just talked about a lot of the things that they did kind of like it was a summary. It went into detail about everything else about her life. It went into detail about her at school and when she was with her band. But when it talked about her being with Vincent and how they had like this deep connection um, and what it felt like to be making music together and everything. I feel like it didn't go into it deep enough for it to feel really real to me, I guess. So I would have really loved to see more inside Sylvia's head during the times that they were creating music together because I understand like so they fall in love, like, fairly quickly, I guess, and one of the reasons why they fall in love is because of this connection that she has with her muse, because it's this amazing feeling whenever he's, like, helping you create music and stuff, because, like, she says that in the book, that it's, like, it's this amazing feeling, but that's all it says, is that it's this amazing feeling, and it feels incredible, but it didn't go into, like, more of, like, how it made her feel and what it did inside of her. I feel like if it went deeper into what it actually felt like with more showing description of what it felt like when they were together and when he was helping her create her music, it would have made me feel for their relationship a little bit more. It almost felt like the relationship was not forced. It didn't feel forced. It just felt almost like their ins insanely strong feelings for each other didn't really come from anywhere. If there was a little bit more detail about that, and I would have loved to see more detail as well about what it was like when they were creating music. I feel like that would have been really cool to read more about that, more in depth with that. I would have liked to see more of Sylvia and Vincent's relationship besides just he put his hands on my shoulders and then I wrote music and it was amazing. <laughs> there was some good description and good showing and there were some really good parts where the writing flowed really nicely. I think I would read the second one. Um, I am interested to see where the story goes because I'm pretty sure it's going to be a trilogy so when she publishes the second book then I will, I'm going to say probably like 90% I'll probably pick it up. <laughs> I guess that's all for my review. Um, have a good day. Bye!